how can we create a high-performance organizational culture? A high-performance culture encourages people to contribute to the business performance of the organization. High-performance cultures impact the bottom line by relying on a variety of effective work practices, including those related to rewards, selection, and training. The first strategy is to conduct a cultural audit. Identify the organization's values, norms, and assumptions, as well as the challenges created by them. Identify potential solutions to these challenges and areas of improvement in terms of maintaining the right kind of culture. The second strategy is to recruit and select the right people for the job. One way of doing this is to assess the fit between each person and the job and the organization. People are naturally inclined to be attracted to companies that share their values. When employees perceive a strong fit, they're more likely to be satisfied with their jobs, go above and beyond expectations, and stay with the organization over time. We also need to evaluate our hiring practices through a process called validation. Using statistics, we can identify whether our selection practices lead us to hire high-performing employees. If our practices are valid, then we are using our resources effectively. If our practices are invalid, it means we are wasting money and hiring people who don't perform well. Invalid practices can also lead to legal challenges that no business wants to face. Competitive compensation packages tend to attract more qualified applicants and keep talented employees. This includes wages and salaries, benefits like retirement savings and medical insurance, bonuses, and allowances, offering items like on-campus meals, paid family and medical leave, and free parking makes your organization even more attractive. The third strategy is to empower employees at all levels to make more decisions and have more control over their work. One way to empower people is to ask for their input and use it to make necessary changes. Ask employees for their feedback about your performance and then listen to what they've shared with you. By voicing their opinions, they are empowered to play a bigger role in the organization's performance. Sharing information consistently and openly is another useful strategy. Information is power, and sharing information means sharing power. Effective team leaders schedule regular time to meet with team members and discuss the current state of the organization. Many employees want to be kept in the loop so they can do their jobs better. The last strategy for creating a high-performance culture is to encourage individual growth and development. Start by talking with your employees about their career goals and helping them identify ways they can learn new knowledge and skills. Too many training programs are a waste of time and money. Consider using multiple training methods to create programs that actually teach people new knowledge and skills. One specific form of training involves socializing new employees. By structuring the orientation process, you can be more confident that every employee understands the same information about the company and knows exactly what is expected of them. Another way to help people grow is to encourage them to expand their social networks and learn from others inside and outside the organization. Some companies encourage their employees to join professional networking organizations and attend conferences for this very reason. Together, these five strategies can help managers find the secret formula to creating a high-performance culture.